Hello internet people, does your website load like this? You wait and wait until you just give up and go somewhere else, even if it's your own website. In this video, I'll show you how to improve your page speed score from this to this. According to Google, if your site loads longer than 3 seconds on mobile, 53% of the users will abandon the site. So make sure your website loads fast. Tape sweat punch. Alright, before we start, please make sure you have backed up everything. It only takes few minutes and it will save you a lot of work if something goes wrong. So be safe kids and use a backup. If you need a backup, click on the link that will appear on your screen now. Before you start, just check your current page speed ranking and use a page that gets most traffic. In my case, it's my blog post. I'll add a link to this tool in the description. Once it's done, you will see your overall score for mobile and for desktop. It looks like currently I have a score of 50 on mobile and 69 on desktop. That's not very good. Enough talk. In WordPress, click on plugins and select add new. In the search box, type W3. W3 total cache plugin should appear as first result. So once it does, click on install now. As you can see, this plugin is very popular because it enables your server to cache your website and content. In summary, cache is a way to store your website without always needing to call the server. If you want to learn more about cache, check out the video that will appear on your screen now. Useless trivia! Once it's done installing, click on activate. Then scroll down to the W3 Total Cache plugin and click on settings. Here we will configure different types of cache. I'm going to go through them pretty fast so that this video doesn't drag on too long. Make sure your page cache is enabled and that the method is set to disk enhanced. Also go ahead and enable minify option and set the mode to auto. Again this should be the method. You can enable database cache if you're not on a shared hosting. If you use share hosting, leave this disabled. Oh, I noticed during editing that I forgot to enable object cache. Please enable it too and set the method to disk. Enable browse cache. You can skip the CDN and reverse proxy part. And you can enable fragmented cache and set the method to disk. When you make changes, don't forget to save the changes. And the rest of the settings, you can leave them as default for now. Arnie, how do you feel about this? It's as satisfying to me as uh, coming is. Okay, so let's see if that helped page speed ranking. I'll just analyze my page again. Alright, alright, small improvement. I have now 57 on mobile and 79 on desktop. But this is actually because I didn't build up the cache. The cache gets created when someone visits the site. Until it's visited, there's no real improvements. So just go to your website with a different browser or incognito mode and reload the page a few times and click around other parts of the website to build up the cache. Okay, that should be okay. Let me analyze the blog post again and see if there is any changes. Alright, so now I have 80 on mobile and 85 on desktop. That looks much better as it's all in green. My name is Robert and if you're looking to master the digital world while getting entertained, this is the channel for you. So hit that subscribe button and find the bell icon so that you get notified about new videos. Get down, 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 get down. Let's take a look what images can we optimize. I've already compressed them a little bit, but it looks like I can do an even better job. Go back to plugins and click on add new at the top. In the search box, type smush and select the second result, 
re-smush it. The first result is super popular image compression plugin. However, I found that re-smush is able to compress and optimize the images much better than smush. And this is how Arnie compresses images. Leave anything for us? Just bodies. Just install re-smush it and activate it. Scroll down and you can see that the plugin is installed. To access it, click on media and select resmush it. Here you are able to optimize all your images, but let me first show you how to do it for individual images. Go to add new under media. I'll upload an image which is 173 kilobytes. Once Resmush is done with it, it's only 38 kilobytes. That's a huge reduction. When I saw it, this is how I felt. Pachoo, pachoo, pachoo. And when you have multiple images, they all add up. That means less bandwidth for the user and quicker page loads for your website. That's great. Let's go back to Resmush it page and select optimize all pictures. This might take a long time, especially if you have a lot of images, but once it's done, all the images will be compressed and you'll see a big difference, especially if you've never compressed the images before. Once it's done with everything, it shows you some stats here. So it was able to save me 12 megabytes from 60 images. That's pretty good since I already compressed them a little bit. Let's see what kind of impact will this have on page speed. And here are the results from PageSpeed tool. It looks like the page is now 82 on mobile and 88 on desktop. My site is choo 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 fast. In addition, I barely have any suggestions for improvement. At this point, for me to get closer to a score of 100, I would need to set up a CDN and get more powerful servers as right now I'm using shared hosting. If you want to learn more about the importance of a good hosting provider, check out the first video. If you are interested in getting a free SSL certificate, check the second video. Whoosh!